I mean, Sheffield, the fourth largest city in Britain now. People flock from all over the place to come and eat out here. It has to be the most perfect location to set up a really nice, cool restaurant. Slap bang in the middle of the city centre is the runaway girl. It was set up two years ago by former recruitment consultant Justin Roundtree to offer Sheffield a taste of Spanish tapas. I think the food has really found its place now in Sheffield. Uh, authentic, it's really something that we can shout about. To help firmly fix the runaway girl on the map, Justin convinced his childhood school friend, experienced tapas chef, Richie Russell, to come and work for him. I had a full-time job at another restaurant. I, uh, I helped him to do a few buffets. After the buffets, he said, Rich, Rich, I'm really in the shit. Is there any chance you can stay? And I said, well, listen, I'll give you a go, man. But the days of Justin listening to his best mate's advice are long gone. And now Richie feels bottom of the pile. It's been a fucking struggle. Shitty equipment, fucked up lifts. They won't give me any money to buy anything fresh. So, Justin's pushing on with his one-man mission, even though his business is failing and the runaway girl is losing a £1,000 a week. Houses have been sold. Every penny I have got and more has been put into this place. Uh, there is no more. Justin's about to lose his business and his friendship with Richie is in tatters. It doesn't matter, listen to me. Oh, fucking hell, Justin, just shut up and listen. I've been telling him for two fucking years and he thinks he knows better, yeah? And I really know nah, I couldn't give a fucking shit. I really couldn't give a fuck, you know what I mean? I could just walk. Before I can do anything to help the runaway girl, I need to eat the food. So I booked him for lunch perfect time for a spot of tapas. Likewise. And that is for... Runaway Girl, Spanish tapas food, just in that lovely blue front of the building. Right. There. Thank you. OK. That is fucking embarrassing. I said we were going anywhere near a restaurant giving out flyers. It feels like we're in the middle of fucking Magaluf. What the fuck is that? Looks like a hairdressing salon. Dreadful. Absolutely shocking. Spanish tapas bar. I mean, it looks like a fucking lap dancing hole. Hello. Hello. Hi. Today, you, Justin is running front of house with his girlfriend, Donna. Donna, good to see you. And this is? Justin. Justin. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Whose idea was this? It's a flyer lunchtime. Yeah. Well, it's something that Justin had done since he opened mm, the business right. to get more people at lunchtime. But it, it does have impact. I can see it's got a lot of fucking impact today. Holy yeah. mackerel. I mean, two dishes at £6.50. Mm -hmm. They should be flocking in here. Yeah. <laughs> But then Justin hasn't exactly created an atmosphere you'd want to dine in. Christ, it's very dark in here, isn't it? It looks like we're in the middle of fucking Amsterdam. Yeah, it's an issue. Blue Jesus Christ, the only yeah. thing that's missing in here is fucking Peter Stringfellow. Would you like to see your menu? Yeah, thank okay. you. So it's authentic Spanish... Tapas. Tapas. Yes, right. exactly. And the prices? I mean, is this normal, these prices? Our prices are definitely slightly lower than anywhere else that's um, selling tapas in Sheffield. Tapas is becoming more popular. So we're slightly lower than anywhere else in Sheffield. If Justin's way of beating the competition is with bargain bucket prices, it's no wonder he's in a financial hole. This could be my cheapest lunch yet. Bloody hell. And the rice is just mush. Absolutely mush. Rabbit's dry. Almost like it's been reheated. Fish stew. Everything just tastes frozen. It's like an elastic band. If I had a fucking ponytail, I'd put my hair up. The duck, well, fuck me. It looks like a tin of kitty cat. Almost like it's been reheated. It's embarrassing to Spain. You go into in the middle of Barcelona, you tap us, it, it arrives instantly. They do it on the bar there and then, and it's fresh. There's nothing here that oozes any form of freshness. It's bland, it's stale and it's packed with fucking grease. What a waste. That stale slop is an embarrassment. It's time for head chef Richie and his sous chef John Eel to face the Spanish Inquisition. Excellent. And so you're the head chef? Yes. And you're the sous chef? Right. How can the fish in a stew be dry? When was that cooked, the fish? Because um, yes, I can guarantee that wasn't cooked this morning. The duck was sweet as fuck. It was like a mouthful of sugar. That's how you're supposed to be. Oh, it's no, not it's supposed to be like that. Fucking hell. That's not Spanish tapas. We've never had a set of complaints about any particular dish. We've never right. had one, there's never okay. one thing ever been sent back. Yeah. 
and it, quite, quite the contrary, yeah. we will get compliments. Yeah. You shouldn't that. use your customers like a hairdryer, blowing smoke up your ass. Okay. All I want to know from my customers are negatives. But on top of the fucking food, we can't eat inside a nightclub. End of fucking story. Okay, thank you. Right. When you walk in here, it does not look like a fucking restaurant. You know what I mean? It looks like a fucking strip bar. I know this, yeah? But he's got to realise I can fucking cook. Tonight, Richie will get his chance to impress me because for the first time in months, the runaway girl is going to be busy. I want to see the restaurant running at full pelt, so I've booked in 30 newcomers for dinner. I can mortar in here. But strangely, there's not a morsel of food in sight. This kitchen looks like it's not used. It's sparse. There has to be food in this kitchen somewhere. What's in this one here? What's in here? And what's in here? It's a service fridge. Mystery solved. This container's everywhere in here. Meatballs. Yeah. Another meatball. Lamb casserole. That's the duck. So, Richie isn't preparing food now because he's already pre-cooked every dish on the menu, right down to the fish. When was that cooked? Why wouldn't you cook the salmon fresh? Truthfully. Yeah. Because the, the date was going out, so I cooked it. Fucking hell. Otherwise, you'd have to throw it away. Yeah. That's, that happens with a lot of stuff. Richie's scrimping and saving can only be down to one person, Justin. Why is he such a cheapskate? Because he, he doesn't really understand what he's doing, does he? He ain't got a real clue about catering, he ain't got a clue about food. We're here struggling every day, I get fucking pissed off with this, pissed off with that. Fucking hell. Well, he's right, isn't he? It's a bit too late for me to start making excuses, which I've got. I've got none excuses, you know what I mean? I don't have any excuses. It's just the way we do things. Absolute fucking embarrassing. This is not a restaurant, it's just a hole serving reheated food. Spanish authentic tapas. Fucking place is a joke. But it's about to become clear where Justin's priorities are. Hello. It looks like he's spending his time and money setting up Sheffield's answer to Glastonbury. So this is a mixer. It's a mixing desk, yeah. The brigade upstairs. Brigade downstairs. Chefs, waiters, waitresses. Barman, sound, band, lighting technician. No, we don't have one of those. Oh, come on. Because no, he can do that as well, you see, because that's just right here. Oh, so you can operate the lights as well? Yeah, yeah. So, Justin thinks it's more important to offer his diners live music rather than fresh food. Oh, dear. So how long did you put that uh, for charter in the microwave for? 39 seconds. 39 seconds. That's fucking precise. Is that the vegetable rice? Yeah. How long was that in the microwave for? 1 minute and 20 seconds. 1 minute 20 seconds. The charter's ready. 29 on the dot. Not surprisingly, Richie's reheated tapas is failing to hit the spot. The whole meal was reasonably tasteless, if I'm honest. I thought the rabbit thing was really quite terrible. Pretty sure the pie was frozen. But Justin won't be able to hear his customers' complaints because they've been drowned out by the music. That music, is it normally that loud now when people are eating? Is that what it's normal? Is this normal? This is the kind of thing we have had in the past. Yeah, acoustic. We want the music to complement the, the actual the entire evening. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to run away. And I'm not the only one. The music is really loud. I'm like putting my ear like over here just trying to listen to what they're saying. And just when I thought the feedback couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Fuck me. That's why it's called runaway customer. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Stop, they're going already. Damn, you're not staying for the music. Fucking hell. What's all that? The phrase is fuck me. The what? I think the phrase is fuck me. I think, no, it's, I, think, I, think, I think they're fucked off. This is embarrassing. Justin's misguided attempts at running a restaurant are pathetic. Did you hear the feedback? I mean, that wasn't normal, that. No. No. And you're totally oblivious to what's going on. Seriously. OK. And what fucking makes me furious is the fact that you think you can get away with reheating food. 
I know there's a huge amount of mistakes I've made, but I also believe there's a lot of things I've done right. There is a lot of things I've done right. There you and go the, again. If, if the one thing that I've done right... If the, I'm not in recruitment now, I'm okay. in your business, that's what, fucking losing you your fucking livelihood. Yeah. This is not massaging and putting a plaster on it, Justin. Right. This is real, so I'm not interested in what you've done fucking right, because 98% of what you've done so far has been wrong. But right now, you're both wrapped up in a bubble as if it's working, but they're not coming in. Bullshit, Justin. Richie, it's fucked. So I really not know what I'm doing at all. So frustrating because you've got an ex recruitment consultant in love with the idea of this fame game, employing bands to play at his venue. Venue, it's a fucking seedy little shithole that doesn't know what it is. Fucking dreamy. I'm in Sheffield to turn around the runaway girl tapas restaurant. Owner, ex recruitment officer Justin Roundtree has got his priorities all wrong. He's been so busy playing the role of Harvey Goldsmith that he's neglected the most important thing of all, the food. And it's driven his best mate, head chef, Richie, mad. Fucking embarrassed. And he's making me look a twat, yeah? Making me look like a fool. And that's what I don't like. This morning, I want to find out if Justin's learned anything from last night's flop. Titty bar. Right, what was the first thing you thought about this morning? Forward, what, I can improve on. Mm. what I've done is I've dug out 30, 40 comments cards and just taken them off the top of the pile. And there's all of the saying is great food, great atmosphere, great food, great atmosphere. What would you change? Nothing. What would you change? Nothing. I can't believe you, you know that. Your business is fucked. And you revert to stupid, pretentious comment cards to pump smoke back up your ass first thing this morning to say food's good, atmosphere's good, music's good. When are you going to stop massaging yourself and fucking get real? Okay, there's clearly a bigger picture, which is Fuck fucked, me. yeah? But there's a... Just, this is what I'm talking about, our kid. You've got to cut the fucking bullshit. Why the fuck are you still trying to make out you've fucking got something? Do you think when, we've got when, nothing when here, the Rich? fucking When the damage has been done, we already look like a couple of fucking tits, yeah? You're already looking like a twat, yeah? And this guy's too fucking clever for you. So shut your fucking mouth and fucking listen. I can't if you do not turn it around today, two o'clock, me and him are fucking off. Yeah? To turn I ain't fucking staying here just. Rich the shit. Cut the fucking crap to turn things round. He's here to fucking turn it round. You can do it without me or fucking with me. Because I've had enough of this fucking charade. Because I don't need this fucking shit. And I've got to stand next to him and show me fucking tubs of fucking shit. That I'm fucking cooking. You're fucking. Don't saw nothing. I'm saying Just, to tell me where to go from here, Rich. Because what? You're not fucking listening to I'm him. All... He's trying to fucking tell you. I've tried to tell you for two years about every fucking thing, food, bans, and I told you that. But you don't fucking understand. So show him some fucking respect, or say I'm fucking going at two o'clock, and that's fucking it. That is it. No fucking bullshit. Okay. Fucking dangle me like a fucking puppet. Sorry. Take some fresh air. So don't take the fucking piss out of me anymore. Fuck this shit, bro. This has been festering way before I got yeah, here. It has. The relationship is broken down, that's pretty obvious. Mm. And so what I'm trying to say, the dynamics of the top tier in your business. It's fucked. I need to understand why a man with such little experience is refusing to take advice from the people that are closest to him. He doesn't listen to me at all. And that really uh, it, it affects my confidence and belittles me. Why doesn't he listen to you? He's been so engrossed in, her, in having to put on a front to everybody, you know, that everything's fine and everything's going to work and everything will turn out OK, that he actually... I don't think working. he's trying to deceive people. I think he genuinely has actually believed it himself in the end. It's difficult because I love him, but I'm not happy at the minute. And things do need to change. Justin's in danger of losing his business, his best mate and his girlfriend. And he's already lost his home. Where's the flat? You're in it. You're just about to. This is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Whoa. 
Six months ago, he sold a flash car and his house to finance the runaway girl. And now he's living in a bedsit above the restaurant. It's like a fucking 17-year-old student's hangout. Fuck. Let's go through and sit down. Damn. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I think the toast is ready. Justin's stubbornness has killed his business, and now I've got to get him to listen to sense. You are in the fucking shit. Did you see his frustrations down there? Yeah. Of course. Whose fault is that? That's yours, Justin. Your girlfriend crying. Whose fault is that? Mine. You need to fucking get their support back on board. Big time. And never be scared to admit that you're wrong. With the Richie situation, he goes, you're fucked. You know, the reality of what's just been pulled from under my feet is really, really, I'm reeling from it. Between me and Richie, there, there should be no fucking wedge there. I will do anything to change that. Before I can fix Justin's mess, I need to get down to the bottom line. So on a, on a Saturday night, we did £152 on food. On a Saturday night? I, I don't know what to say. You're off your fucking trolley. I'm gonna get hold of Richie. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Fucking hell. Mm. I know we're in the throes of a financial crisis, but Justin's figures are a joke. To increase takings, it will take a radical change, but I can't fix this restaurant without a chef, and right now, ours is ready to walk out. Sit down. Fucking hell, well, you got that one off your chest? I needed to. I needed yeah. to. I cannot believe he's still trying to fucking blag you. I cannot fucking believe he's still talking shit. Now he's done it with me, and he's doing it with you. Come on. He has not got a fucking clue. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, like, in two minds. I need you to fucking stay here. You know, whether you want to walk, whether you want to throw the towel in, right now, I need you to stay here. That's not usually me. Gordon, to throw a towel in. You can't be fucking shoehorned into a corner and cooked from buckets no. to keep this guy's fucking neck above the water. And the quicker you can stop bullshitting, the quicker we can get back in there and start fucking cooking. Exactly. To be honest, for you, I'll fucking stay and do it, yeah? OK. Take some fucking uh, fresh air. Relax, yeah? Yeah. yeah. For fuck's sake. Cheers, bud. Any other chef in Richard's position would have fucked off by now. He's under immense pressure and Justin's not given a fucking ounce of respect. So the one hope I've got now is focusing on the food and I'm hoping that'll be enough to keep him at the runaway girl. I need to work out how to put the runaway girl firmly on Sheffield's culinary map. And a quick walk around town tells me we're not the only tapas restaurant on the block. Runaway Girl's got no chance of succeeding in amongst all this competition. There are chain restaurants everywhere here, and some of them are actually Spanish themed, so forget the Spanish tapas. And I think I've spotted a gap in the market. Put some British back inside that restaurant, and more importantly, localise it. That way, being individual, you've got every chance of succeeding. I want to create an affordable menu that Richie will be excited about cooking. So I'm taking him and John Neal just 20 miles outside Sheffield, where I found some inspiration. Now we're going to somewhere really exciting, yeah? It's a local venison farm, and they have the most amazing venison. Wow. I've never actually seen a deer up close, you know. Really? Yeah. Paul, good to see you. Yeah, very well, thank you. This is our chef, Richie. Hey, Hi, Richie. Nice to meet you. You all right, mate? All right, what a beautiful place. Every restaurant needs a signature dish. We all look like dicks now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, I'm being let loose in the farm factory, as I'm going to use the venison to create a modern version of bangers and mash. I'm going to make some sausages now, yes? Yep. Pistachio and venison go well. Yes. Some cranberries. A few apricots. Yeah. A nice mixed spice. Not a fucking bucket in size. <laughs> now for the easy part. Yeah, Sausage bang. skin. Yeah. Getting fucking turned on here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he'll catch the fucker? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Fuck. oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 my fucking jumbo, yeah. That was my jumbo. 
<laughs> Let's not start arguing over the size of that sausage, but trust me, <laughs> that was definitely my jumbo. Yeah. We've got some new sausages for tonight's menu, and getting out of the kitchen has proved to be a real tonic for Richie. Uh, he's brought me up here and I can feel a bit more enthusiasm to say, look, I've been to this place, I want to cook and I'll uh, try and make him proud, you know what I mean? Because I can see, he can see something in me, you know, which I really appreciate, you know, because nobody fucking has for years, you know what I mean? Now it's time to start my new regime at the Runaway Girl and that means telling Justin that everything's changing. We're going to banish the Spanish. Tonight we're going to run it as a restaurant. And there's one thing in here that hasn't worked from day one. It's called the music. You're not going to discover the Beatles here. Cancel the fucking music. Can I have a little feed bit of feedback from the guys here? Because I really want, it, I really want to hear it. Let's fucking let the customers and the fucking public know you're a restaurant. And after that, deal with music. Mm. Identify your mistakes and move on. Stop trying to mask over it. But we fucked up music, last. You think any kind of music? Just... Why are you eating dinner? Who the fuck's going to come in here and talk to their partners, their friends, their families and listen to that shit coming out of there? Cancel the fucking music. <clears throat> right, this ain't fucking easy. I'm doing it and I really fucking hope that what I'm trying to do today is a symbol of what I'm fucking trying to do going forward, which is listening to you. Yeah? OK? What choice have we got, Justin? It's lost you the business! Okay. It's gone, Justin! That's why I'm so frustrated, because you still can't fucking see it. Cancel the fucking music. OK. He's just cancelled. That's it. Without his bands to distract him, Justin can concentrate on running his restaurant. And tonight, I've booked it out with 40 locals. First check on our kids, table four. Three halibut, two sausage. I put three main dishes on the menu, including our venison sausage with a spring onion mash and three new starters. And then main course, we've got one halibut, one sausage. Now, I need Richie to show me that he's capable of cooking this menu from fresh. Have you ever worked like this before? Yeah, well, a long time ago. A long time ago, OK, good. The more questions you ask, yes. the better, yeah? Okay. What I want is some vibrance, some yeah. energy. Yeah, we're doing well. I know we just started okay. service, but we're yeah. doing well. OK. The difference is night and day, yes? Yeah. Yeah? Totally, and I'm yeah. not going back to a fucking morgue no, no. of a service, yeah? yeah? Good, well done. Hey, first table, gone out, oh, fresh. I'm Look at the it. difference. Yeah. Unbelievable. Lovely. Richie's got a lot on his plate, so I'm staying in the kitchen to help him. As I won't be in the dining room, I'm bringing in professional help to tell me how Justin copes running front of house. Tonight is going to be a big surprise because I'm going to be using a mystery diner. Basically, I've been using it for the last 10 years. And it's a great way of keeping your staff on their toes. Somebody's going to come in incognito as a normal customer and give me a detailed report at the end of the experience. My diner's arrived. Have you got a table book for this evening? Yeah. Fantastic. She's booked in at one of Justin's tables and I've asked her to film her experience so I can keep tabs on him. But straight away, Justin's ignoring her. Hi. Okay. No, we're just ready to order whenever. Okay, all right, thanks. But rather than come straight back, Justin goes missing in action. It's finally left to Donna to take care of my diner. Even when the food order is placed, my diner's night doesn't improve. About an hour since we've ordered. Sorry. Your main. Yeah. And when my diner finally gets a main course, clueless Justin fails with the most basic requirement of all. But thankfully, elsewhere, food is hitting the tables. The, the food's brilliant, the sausages are really nice. I shared the venison with my friend and it was absolutely gorgeous. I've never had such a good meal in Sheffield. And let's be honest. Table 10, we've got another mackerel, two goat's cheese, and one Richie sent all the food without any mistakes. And crucially, he's enjoyed it. Nice. So on these next starters, table 6, table 8, I've got two, uh, three prawns, 
Two wow. goat's cheese and one mackerel. Yep. It's fantastic. I mean, it's proper cooking, though. Fresh, you can be proud of what you're doing. Not serving shit all week, you know? So, yeah, it's enjoyable. Richie has really risen to the challenge in the kitchen. And now I'm about to find out how Justin performed front of house. What was it like? It's been a very long night. Yep. From start to finish, I think we've been here for like over two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Just felt like I had to keep searching for somebody to ask yep. what was happening, not being informed, why yep. food was taking so long. The service just really let it down. As a mystery diner, mm. are you a runaway, not coming back diner? I'm running away, definitely. Fuck. My diner's given me a report, so now I can tell Justin exactly what he needs to do to improve his shoddy service. OK, um, here's the bad news. Tonight, for the first time, we had a professional mystery diner. Table eight. Right. Table eight. So you knew it was a mystery diner? I didn't know it was a mystery diner, but as soon as you said that, it's pretty bloody obvious. She's not that professional. Needs a bit of training. Why was it obvious then? I love the way you're so smart I'm about it. I'm not smart it. about it. Why was it obvious then? Just because she was being so arsy about everything that was happening. So if you spotted her, why didn't you do anything about... I did. You did? I, I mean, I, I wasn't okay. going to gush over, but no, damn right I did. Yeah. Service. Yeah. Lackadaisical, confused, erratic, chaotic. One out of five. If anyone was going to buckle tonight, it was going to be him. If there was anyone who was going to throw the towel in, it should have been him. You were the last person I expected to buckle. One table got served the main courses tonight without any knife and forks. The pressure tonight got to me. I was making mistakes. I'm sorry. You For know, a 37-year-old man, that's feeble. Well, that's no, fucking feeble. Fe no, it's not yes, feeble. Yes, it is. No, it's not feeble. You know, yes, it is. If I've got someone who I respect in your position... Forget me in my no, position. No, 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 I'm no. not a fucking no, waiter. No, 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 no. Do you know no. why it's feeble? I'm not forgetting you in your Should position. Should I tell everybody here, you, 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 why it's feeble? Because 99% of service is common sense. That's why it's feeble. And tonight proved one thing. You know fuck all. But you have got to start listening, Justin. I can listen. I fucking can listen. Of course I can fucking listen. You're not fucking listening now, bro, are you? That's the fucking... So what do I need to do? What the fuck do I need to do? You need to fucking shut up and agree with the fucking guy. Because he's not... telling you you come in here tonight, you had the pressure, and it didn't go right, and everybody's a bit upset, but you're still fucking waffling on. Rich. When you're not getting it. Rich, I'm trying to get it. You're not, because you're waffling on like a fucking idiot! Listen to what he's got to say! Rich, I'm listening, but I'm not going to sit here and have a complete fucking... You know, I'm trying. You are embarrassing me as a fucking friend, brother. Listen to him. All I've heard you do since fucking Monday is waffle on. Like a fucking pussy. Last night, Justin refused to learn from his mistakes, and it's driven the wedge between him and Richie even deeper. If they're at war, the runaway girl is doomed. So I'm going to try and build bridges. I'm taking them back to the school gates nice where they met. Where are we? Portercroft. To remind Justin what's at stake. Not just his business, but also his lifelong friendship with Richie. This was quite significant at the beginning of your lives. Yes, yeah? Sir. And you were friends, right? Yeah. Buddies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why did your relationship with Justin break down? I come there at first to do him a favour. Then he asked me to stay on. But after a few weeks, it's just like, can you do this, can you do that? And there's no real understanding of what we've actually done for him. And that's why I get pissed off, and that's why I get fed up with him. If you don't understand something, and somebody's there with a bit more experience, you've got to listen to him. And he's never listened to me from day one. Never, ever. You know, I don't think I've really listened to anybody. You know, I think I've always known I know best. You know, I know which you'll give and give and give. And I want that to be a two-way street, that's what I want. I can't keep giving you, giving you, giving you. Will you just take, 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 yeah. take, take? If I'm humble and I admit what my misgivings are, what my weaknesses are, and listen to you, be sorry for what's going on. If we can have a bit of a line in the sand, pal, and if you can, I can show that I'm listening. Yeah, of course we can. Wicked. But we can, of course. All right. Yeah. Top lad, thank you. Probably all right. OK. We'll do it together, man. Let's go down there. All right. If that... The Russian will only survive if Justin and Richie can work together. So I've got to make sure that Justin can keep his side of the bargain. 
I'm going to teach him the common sense rules to ensure front of house runs smoothly, starting with the basics. On the menu tonight, uh, I think everything uh, should, should, should be quite tempting. I don't know if you're in fish or meat is your uh, favourite, but everything tonight is absolutely fresh. Uh, Stop. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Right. What you need to do is fucking relax. Mm -hmm. A great service is attentive without being noticed. Okay. So far, you're making my shit itch. Okay. And it hasn't come out yet. Okay. That's how irritating you are! Okay. Right, ladies, sit down with Don and I at the table. Take an order of four. OK. okay. Right, off we go. Here we go. Good evening, everyone. And for your order tonight, what would you like? The beetroot starter and the halibut for me, please. The beetroot and the halibut? <sighs> fucking hell. Mm. Right, come here, you. Was that Not really that painful? Hell. Yes, it was painful. Here's the thing. Sit down. Yep. Where's the pad? Look at that. No. <laughs> I swear to God, it's writing of a six-year-old. <laughs> it's all about engaging in the customers. To start off with, Danny, what would you like to start, madam? Um, can I have prawns? Please? Prawns and for main course? Chicken. Certainly. So, P and C. And, madam? Mackerel and halibut, please. Mackerel and halibut, certainly, of course. Lovely. And it's just there. P, M, M, C, C, C. That is a goddamn revelation. Bang! <laughs> Relax, you don't have to have yeah. everything in detail here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's... you'll be surprised. Three tables down the line. Yeah. 30 tables down the line. Yeah. If you continue to work at it, you start yeah. to become incredibly charming. Do you know why? Because your confidence levels are there. And for the first time since you've been in business, yeah, you have to run it. We're closing the restaurant tonight, but Justin's not getting the night off. Now one thing we are going to change is the decor. Holy fuck. Yeah, look at the fucking size of it. This is extraordinary. I swear to God, you could dress fucking Big Ben with all these fairy lights. I want to get started changing this dingy interior into a bright light restaurant. I'm not throwing everything out. Yeah. Downstairs in the basement, there's an Aladdin's yeah, cave of kitchen yeah. equipment. The, now I've put real food on the menu, we're going to need it in the kitchen. Now, now that we're making fucking headway and we're sort of out with the old in with the new, yep. are you feeling comfortable or are you getting Very. more nervous? No, 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 I'm feeling yeah. comfortable. But as feet are on the floor, you know, shit could happen, but we're trying to be ready for it, yeah. you know? But I want to tell you something quite serious. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a very placid chef mm. and you are a lot better at cooking than you actually think you are. No. You've got it. Mm -hmm. Don't hide it. Very few chefs with your knowledge, yeah? Self-taught, only been cooking for 10 years, I'm telling you. will be a lot more big-headed than you'll ever know. <laughs> but it's quite a nice... Hey, I'm serious. Don't get upset, come on. Hey, it's a lovely quality. And I mean that. Don't let go of it. Promise? Yeah. Come here, you big fuck. Thank you. Just nice to hear it, you know. It's nice to know it's, um, that you're doing something nice, huh? Doing something right. I just really want to, uh, just carry on proving it tomorrow, you know? It's the morning of the relaunch, and I've got a surprise. I've ditched the NAF name for something more in keeping with the building we're in. Blindfolds off, look up. Silversmith's restaurant and bar. <laughs> Runaway girl, <laughs> yes. Get in. Get in there. Look at the front of yeah. your restaurant. Yeah, it's staring at us. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. It's something to be proud of, yeah. Simple, yeah. And look, it's above the door. <laughs> staring in the face. Runaway girl, gone. Forget Brilliant. it. Brilliant. Inside, we've got a new dining space where the bands used to be. And on the tables, we're using Sheffield's own cutlery. Nice, vibrant. No more seedy nightclub, yeah? Look at the space. Look how much brightness there is in the dining room. You've got a restaurant back, yeah? Hey. Think of it this way. Fresh food, localised produce, yes? And a nice, vibrant restaurant. Make it count. 
I'm absolutely speechless. Mm. Just th thank you, everybody. Tonight, we launch Silversmiths. It's a big chance to show Sheffield that we're serious about food. Look at that. Local and seasonal. It looks fantastic. And peeled. Okay, I've doubled last night's yet. menu Why with starters that? like salt beef with mustard on toast and chilled yeah, pea yeah, and mint nice soup. And for the mains, a Yorkshire blue and spinach tart, halibut with peppers and capers, and a rump steak with herb butter. Everything's cooked fresh. Yes? Push it. Yeah, I mean, really push it. I've booked in 80 local Yorkshire foodies. If they like the new menu, we can rely on word of mouth to build the business. So, with two sittings of diners to keep happy, Justin needs to stay calm and remember the simple lessons I've taught him. Fantastic. All right, I'll get that sorted for you. Table eight, one more prawns, one yeah. beef. The uh, main course, one salmon, one sausage. Yes, chef. The most pressure will be in the kitchen. Richie has got a lot on his plate and I need him to hold his nerve. It's time for you to shine, big boy, yeah? OK. Yeah, give it to them, yes? Yes. I'm sending table 14 and table eight, yeah? What do you like tonight? <laughs> But we've only just kicked off service, and Justin's made a stupid mistake. He's taken everyone's order at once. We could be sunk before we've even started. Yes. If we slow down, we can't stop and talk. We've got to work and talk all the time. Yes. You're outnumbered. There's only two of you here. You know that? I know. OK, two seconds, yeah? Yep. I asked to do two twos at the same time. You bring me two tables of four in. That's eight people. There's only two of us here. Now, just stop it. taking orders a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. ten tables. Let's slow it Everyone's down. rushing in. Well, think about it a little okay. bit, yes? Why doesn't he listen? There's only two cooks in the fucking kitchen and we're cooking fresh. It's not preheated like it was previously during the week in buckets. It's freshly cooked. It needs time. Fuck. I'm determined Justin's mistake won't push us under. If we stop, Richie, we're in the shit. They fuck you even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're the ones looking fucking stupid. We can't stop, guys. OK. Cannot stop. The food's out and the first sitting of diners are sold on the new menu. The mashed potato is absolutely fantastic. And it was gorgeous, really nice, really fresh flavours. This is definitely going to be on our favourite list from now on. It's 8.30 and the second sitting is arriving. But, yet again, Justin's common sense has failed him. The first sitting's plates haven't been cleared. And then there's lots of empty tables now we need to clear and sit these down now, yeah? Yeah, three tables empty. It's just getting chaotic now. Really chaotic and fragmented service. Everything's falling apart and no cohesion, there's no composure. More importantly, it's, it's falling through his hands again. Right now, all I can say is thank fuck Richie has hold the reins upstairs because without him, this place would be worse than a fucking titty bar. Fucking shocking. And then Justin proves to me that he's incapable of performing the most obvious tasks. It's no knife and I'm going to apologise for that right now. Sorry about that. Thanks ever so much. That's basic, my man. Yes, it is. Come yeah. on, Justin, please. Not fucking good enough. Thank you. Upstairs, Richie's going great guns, but yet again, front of house are screwing us. There you go. There's food, look, there's food still in the lift. What table number is it? The two still in what you said to send. Yeah, it's table seven, yeah? It's all in the lift, yeah? The two states have been up and down like fucking Abby Titmus's knickers. Serve it, please! Absolute fucking useless. Well, I'll go and deal with that. Can I tell you about Good. my problem? Deal with something, then! Can I tell you about the other problem? What's the other problem? We've got a burnt Yorkshire tart on table nine. How can it be burnt? I don't get it. And they're missing sausages. I don't know who they're wearing the steak is, oh. but they're missing it. Fuck off. Yeah. Get on the phone and get your job back. Where's the tart, then? Let's go! Burnt my ass. I've never seen such a fucked up service in all my fucking life. Unfucking believable. Two sausages? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this was asked for well done. And this person is sending it back. And let me just tell you something. You know, in terms of well done, look, we braised it. What is that? That's well done. That is well done, so stop <laughs> bringing me shit! What about this, Gordon? That is well done! What about this? It's well done! Look at it! It's well done, we braised it! That looks pink to me. That's gristle, you fucking idiot! Okay. What is that? Gristle. Look! Yeah. Look, it's white inside! Okay, I'll tell it. Oh my god. 
What a fucking muppet. The evening's nearly over, and Justin's shambolic service hasn't just ruined my night. We've been waiting, what, an hour and a quarter now? Very nice, but I'd eat anything. I've been waiting that long. So. There's been one saving grace. Richie. He's definitely earned his chef stripes tonight. Well done. You're tough. But after his best mate's performance, Richie is wondering whether it's all been worth it. Yep. What worries me is... If nobody's going to listen to Gordon, yeah, and they can't fucking pull it off, then how the fuck are they going to learn? You know what I mean? Yeah. So tonight, they don't look much hope for us, does they? What a fucking week. What a night. And it didn't fucking work. Why? Because Justin bottled it. But there's one saving grace in this restaurant, and that is fucking Richie. Because without him, this place is going to be fucking history. What a shame. What a fucking shame. Five weeks later, and I'm on my way back to Silversmiths, and I've got an inkling that Justin has started to listen to my advice. According to the local press, it's positive. I mean, fantastic reviews. I mean, a foodie's heaven, and Silversmiths to be polished. Fucking hell, he's getting more positive press than I am, so... I can't wait to see what the results are, but honestly, I've never come across such a frustrating guy in all my life that just didn't fucking listen. So, is Silversmith polished, or has he gone back to his old stubborn ways again? Silversmiths, looking like a restaurant, not a titty bar. Beautiful. Lovely, local, and very British. Main course is nice. How are you guys? Very well. Hello, hello. Are you well? Very well. Yeah, good to see you. How Welcome are you? Back. Very well, thank you. Glad to be back. Well, okay. Place looks amazing from the outside. Thank you. thank you. Have those tables been there for the last four weeks? Yes, or no, have the Arctic see. Monkeys sneaked back in yeah. and <laughs> launched their new album here last <laughs> Friday night? Definitely. Not at all. Tell me about the service. How's the service been? Well, we're enjoying it and I think the customers are too. We're about to find out. OK. I've got a surprise for Justin. Last week, I sent in another diner to find out if his tableside manner had improved. Nice welcoming. Christ, what happened to you that night? Huh? Informative, attentive, without bullshitting them. Nice. Did he swear a fair amount? Oh, and did you tell him who made me swear a lot? Huh? Here's the results. Service was direct. Incredibly knowledgeable, yeah? And more importantly, sharp and quick. I can't wait to return. That's the most important part mm. of the report. Mm. And that's confirmed that you have listened. And that, for me, has been the biggest ever hurdle I've had to jump. Because fuck me, you've been one stubborn fucker. Mm. I'm glad you're changing. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And the changes continue. Silversmith has been ramped since its launch. So averaging 50 on a Saturday. Yep. Fantastic. Tuesday. Yeah, so I mean, look that's at this. Uh, Wednesday 37 on a Wednesday. Yeah, but I mean, were you ever doing this on a Wednesday night? <laughs> no, I wasn't doing that on a Saturday night. Money-wise, mm -hmm. we were in the shit last time. Yep. Um, what are we doing now in terms of making? We're, you know, £1,000 on food on a Saturday night yeah. versus £150, £160 six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. I can't quite get my head around it. It's a completely different business. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a business as opposed yeah. to a, yeah. a hodgepodge of all sorts. That's fantastic. And so, the restaurant is running smoothly, and I want to find out if that means Richie is committed to staying put. Right, big man. How have you been? Magic. You seem to have a spark. Yeah. I don't know why, but he looks sort of more mature, but you look younger. Do I? Yeah, Magic. you do. Magic, that's good. Yeah, and how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Very good, very good. Is he listening, though? He is listening. Is he? He is. I've got to be honest, since you left, he's there every day. If I need him, he's there. You right. know what I mean? He drops everything to come to the kitchen Good. and say, guys, what do you need? How have you changed? Me, I've changed um, a lot. I've changed really? a lot. Yeah, yeah. I've, well, I've got a passion for cooking, uh -huh. which I never had. Yeah. You know, really, I fell into it. Every day, yeah. although you're doing the same thing, yeah. every day is positive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're starting from scratch yeah. every day. Have you fallen in love with it? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely fallen in love. Good. Definitely. Good, fantastic. For a Monday night, 
The place is packed. That's proof that word of my new menu has really spread. This is for Gordon, yeah? Bon appetito, big man. Sausages, and I'll just bring your wine straight over. Thank you very much. It smells amazing. Nice. This is delicious. Richie and Justin have graduated with honours. Now you're cooking, big boy. You're smoking. And you're smoking, and fuck me, are you on fire? Well done. Thank you. I think you've woken up to the idea of being a restaurateur. Thank fuck for that. I mean, that feedback's, I think, what we've been working hard for a month for, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah, likewise. Uh, Thanks, well. Thank you so much. Well, well, likewise. That was a joy, a real joy. And what a success, because it's clearly evident that he's listened. More importantly, the place is busy. Great service, great food. Long may it continue. Just don't stop listening. Upwards and onwards.